Welcome back to Living Local. Shreveport Green is doing big things in our community to promote a healthy, sustainable, and economic, economically vital place for us to live and thrive in. And they're doing so through public outreach and community enhancement. So today we welcome Emily Hermeyer and Lauren Jones with the Shreveport Green to tell us what they're doing and how we can get involved. Ladies, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having us. Yes, so we want to talk about all the exciting things that you guys are doing. Spring is here, and I know that you guys are working really hard to create a nice neighborhood, a place for us to live and thrive in. So tell us what you're doing. So we run uh, several different programs to keep our city clean and green. Uh, we do litter cleanups. Uh, we do gardening programs. Uh, we work with the city on recycling and tree planting. So we've got a lot going on. Yes, but you're not just cleaning up, Lauren. You were also telling me that you guys have a garden that people can um, garden Absolutely. in. <laughs> yeah, so um, we always take volunteers. And Um, we have a two-acre garden behind the Northwest Louisiana Food Bank, and we're constantly uh, doing different types of produce and putting it through our mobile market program, which goes into food desert neighborhoods and gets produce to people who don't have access at a really, really low price. That's awesome. So yeah. how can someone get involved with, with that? Do they just call you guys? Absolutely. Call us, schedule us. Um, Emily, you might have a little more information on how they can get in touch. Yeah, they can send me an email. Uh, my email address is... E. Harmeyer, H-A-R-M-E-Y-E-R, -E -E at shreveportgreen.org. Okay. Uh, or they can call us. My phone number is 318-219-188, extension 14. Yes. And I will uh, hook them up with all of our volunteer opportunities. That's so cool. And that sounds like so much fun. Like, for example, someone like me, I live in Olaf, so I, I don't have a garden, but there's an opportunity for me to go garden and also to have a nice community to live in. Yeah. Absolutely. And another thing that we do is we actually work with a lot of the schools around Shreveport, especially the Title I schools. Okay. Um, so most of the kids that attend there are low in, from low-income families uh, and we actually establish school gardens at their schools and we visit them once a week. We uh, help them grow their own food there yes. um, and we teach them why it's important to eat foods that they can grow in the garden like fruits and vegetables. Um, and so really working with them in the garden gives them kind of a connection to fresh fruits and vegetables and they're more willing to try to eat those things because they have that connection yes. to them. They're kind of proud of like, oh, look at this carrot. I grew it. Yeah, now I want to eat it. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah, that's so fun. So we also want to just quickly t tell the, the community why it is important to mm -hmm. go green, to cl keep your community clean, and to get involved with something like, something like this. Why is it so important? Yeah, so one of my favorite little catchphrases is we don't have a planet B. You know, like we don't have a plan B. Yes. Um, you know, we've only got one Earth and we've got to take care of it. Uh, everything that we do obviously depends on having a planet to live on. And yes. so we need to take care of our Earth. Yes. Well, thank you so much, ladies, yeah. for being with us today. We appreciate you coming in. And we want to encourage everyone to get involved with Shreveport Green. There's so many opportunities to do great things for this community. And stay with us. It's Taco Tuesday. We're headed to the kitchen after the break.